if I sound really deep and nasally it is because I am a little bit sick just coming from hot weather to like pouring rain it is like pouring right now um, just yeah made me feel sick and disgusting hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a favorites video and I decided to do this video because I have so many new products that I have tried, tested and loved so I wanted to share that with you all and discuss why I love each product. Um, I also have little clips of me using the products so the look that I've done today on my face is all the products that I am loving. Um, I decided to do it because I haven't done one in ages and I thought I would do one for the month of May because May is my favorite month of the year. It's my birthday, it's my best friend's birthday. We basically have a birth month because there's celebrations, you know, throughout. Um, I recently got engaged in May, so it's my favorite month. I've got so many products to get through, so I'm just going to go through this real quick and get started. So two hair products that I'm loving at the moment are the Detox um, Dry Shampoo and Dry Conditioner. Wow! This smells so good and with a dry shampoo I find that sometimes they smell quite pungent and because it's so close to your head you don't want that smell to be following you around the whole day. This smells like you know that perfume that men wear? It's called Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's like a green bottle and it has like a man's body. It's like in the shape of a man's body. Yeah, it smells like that and it is amazing. So the dry shampoo you obviously use on the roots and it really refreshes the hair. Like my hair, I probably haven't washed it and that's why it's up. But I probably haven't washed it in like three days. And I don't feel like it looks oily or anything like that. Um, the dry conditioner um, really helps the hair at the end. So if you feel like your hair is starting to get dry on the ends, apply a little bit of this and it seriously makes such a difference. I feel like I just washed my hair when I'm using these two products together. This helps to detangle the hair. It also helps to soften, hydrate the ends um, and obviously you use this in moderation. You don't want to not have showers and not wash your hair. You want to use this in between washes so I only used it today um, and I will wash my hair tomorrow. I'm not going to live in this. So yes, loving these two products at the moment. The next product that I am absolutely loving as well is the Airbrush Root Touch-Up Spray by Oribe. I love Oribe. It's probably my favorite hair brand. Um, I just love the smell of their products and how luxurious it really makes your hair feel. And when I use really good quality products on my hair, I feel the difference. I'm not going to lie. And um, so this thing is a dark brown root spray and I spray it at the roots and I feel like it just helps to you know cover up these areas that are you know coming through um, you know you don't want to look like you're balding or anything um, this really helps it also helps to cover up gray and I think that's what it's mainly used for but I like to fill in my hairline or fill in bits of my hair that um, you know because it's up there's like it's pulling in different sections so it just helps to um, fill in the hair and make it look fuller and love it so I am going to mention a perfume in all of my favorites um, I'm gonna try and do a favorites every month um, don't hold me to my word but I am going to try so every month I'm gonna try and um, tell you a new perfume that I'm loving and this one that I was loving for the month of May while I was in Hawaii is this one and it's Isimiyaki's Pure. It is meant to resemble a, um, a drop of water and as you can see it looks like a drop of water. Um, it smells so fresh, it's so light and it reminds me of the um, 
original Isimiyaki perfume back in the day. I used to love that one. Um, so I am loving this perfume at the moment. So the next thing I am mentioning is my skincare. I am absolutely loving this skincare at the moment. I mentioned this in my latest video, I think. Hopefully it's the latest. Um, it was sort of like an unboxing video. Anyway, I'm really, really, really loving um, the Paula's Choice Hydrolyte range. Um, and also I add in um, BHA lotion and hyaluronic acid booster. Love these so much. You can um, read more about them in the links below, but I also explained each of them in the unboxing video. So go check that out. I'll link it down below now. So the primer that I'm absolutely loving at the moment, I feel is um, keeping me matte, yet it's not drying me out because it is winter now in Sydney and I feel like my skin does get dry in winter. But this one, the Professional. Um, Matte Rescue by Benefit is seriously my favorite. I've been using it for a while now. It's not a new product to me, um, but I just love it. It says it's mattifying, pore blurring, and it has an invisible finish, which I can definitely confirm. I love this product. Um, I apply it before applying foundation. Um, and yeah, it keeps me matte all day and I love it so much. The next product is a nail polish and this is from Marc Jacobs. It is called Fluorescent Beige. It is such a gorgeous beige colour. As you can see, I'm wearing it on my nails now. And it sort of has like a... I don't know how to call it, but it has like a pearly sort of finish. I don't know if you can see, but it has a pearly finish and... It's like the perfect nudie beige color. I love it. Um, but yeah, that's the nail polish that I'm wearing and loving this month. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm loving at the moment is the Tartlet in Bloom palette by Tarte. And the eyeshadows are just a gorgeous mix of um, nude beige tones, um, some brown tones at the bottom there, some darker brown tones up here, um, sort of a smoky dark grey shadow um, and it's a mix of matte and shimmer shadows so you get a really 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 good mix of shadows. So the shadows that I used from this palette are Smarty Pants and I blended that out in the crease um, just with a fluffy brush. Um, I also smoked that out on the lower lash line. I used Funny Girl and I used that all over the lid um, and it's a gorgeous soft gold colour. I also used Rebel um, which is sort of like a terracotta colour um, and I just used that on the outer corners to deepen it. Um, and then I used Activist which is a dark brown shade and I just used that to smoke out on the upper and lower lash line um, and this just helped to really create that smoky look. So I know the next product I use in a lot of my tutorials so it's probably a given that it's one of my favorites but this is the S Curler from Shu Amura. Oh my god, it is just amazing. I use it to curl my lashes before applying mascara and also um, press my lashes and false lashes together. It just gives the most gorgeous curl to the lashes. It doesn't, you know, clamp them or crimp them or anything. It really helps to um, flip them up, especially because I mentioned that I have um, such straight lashes, I see a difference with this. The lashes that I'm loving at the moment from Velour, of course, are the ones that I'm wearing. I don't have them in the box, obviously, because I'm wearing them, um, but they are called Fluff and Wispy, and they are just so, so, so gorgeous. They look really, really fluffy and soft. They are on the longer side, um, but they are just so gorgeous, so soft and wispy, and I love them. I'm also loving this mirror from Benefit. Um, 
I got this in one of their send outs in May so I'm going to include it in my May favourites because I love it but I'm sure I'll be using it forever and ever in every video. I love a good lip balm and the lip balm that I'm loving at the moment is the Mecca Lip Delicious and this is in the colour Nude so it has a slight colour you can't see it when you put it on um, well I can't anyway but it has just the most gorgeous nude shade. Um, it's so hydrating on the lips and it smells like bubble gum. It also says it has SPF 25 which is amazing because your lips need protection just as much as your skin. Um, so yeah, this is a really really good um, little pot to just throw in your bag um, and always have something to moisturize your lips with. The foundation that I recently discovered and am loving at the moment, I've seen it used on YouTube a lot, um, but it is the Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD um, Stick Foundation. I love this stuff. And I have two shades, so I have the darker shade that I have is 123 and the lighter shade is 127 and I use the darker shade around the outside edges of my face and then I use the lighter shade um, just to apply it in the middle of the face. I have two shades just because it's easier to blend out and you don't need to use as much highlighting concealers um, on top of your foundation um, because the foundation's already highlighting and sort of contouring. Um, so yeah, loving these stick foundations and I just use the Beauty Blender to blend it all out and blend it in. It blends out so, so beautifully. While I am on the topic of my Beauty Blender, I am going to mention the Slay All Day um, Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics. And I just use a few sprays on my Beauty Blender before I use it to blend out my foundation. I feel like it just sets the foundation in place and makes it look so much more flawless. Um, but yeah, it really helps to blend it out. Um, and you should always be using your Beauty Blender damp as well. The next thing I want to mention is concealer. And I only just discovered these, I can't believe I only just discovered these, but they are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealers. And I have two shades, 1.5, and I use this to highlight, so under the eyes, um, down the bridge of the nose, and the middle of the forehead today. Um, but yeah, it's just a gorgeous, um, neutral sort of slightly yellow toned concealer. The other shade that I have is 3.5 and it is a little bit deeper so it matches my foundation colour and I use this to conceal around the face so you know areas that need to be covered um, that foundation didn't cover needs a little bit extra coverage I use 3.5. They are really gorgeous formulas um, they look quite thick in the pot but when you blend them out they are seamless on the skin you can't even notice you're wearing them so yeah I really really love these concealers on the topic of concealers and blending them out I use the tiny beauty blender the green one it is called what's it called micro mini um, beauty blender and this is just so so easy to apply like I saw them when they first came out and I was like why would you need something so tiny like that is not going to get all over your face but you don't need to get it all over your face that's why I use the big one for blending out the whole face and then this one oh my god it gets right in to those small crevices in the eyes around the nose um that's about it but they are just so helpful, especially when you're trying to um, put a huge beauty blender in there. It's not going to really blend out as well as this one. And I just love it. Really, really love it. And 
I also can't believe it took me this long to try them. So yeah, highly recommend this. For cream contouring at the moment, I am loving this palette from Makeup Forever. The contour shade is just the most beautiful um, neutral grey brown and it's not warm at all so it's just going to look, it looks so gorgeous on the skin. It just literally creates those beautiful shadows. Um, I have tried the pink shade um, just to colour correct under my eyes um, and I have tried the highlighter one. I feel like it might be a little bit too light for me but that's okay. Um, you can just use a little bit if it's too light for you. Um, and yeah, this is also a highlight, so a cream highlight. Um, I haven't used this just yet, but I will. So yeah, really loving this contour shade um, for cream contouring. You guys know that if you've watched my previous tutorials that I love this next product. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It is so good for setting the foundation. It doesn't move once you set it. I like to apply it with a tapered brush um, and just really get in underneath the eyes, um, set the middle of the forehead around the nose and the mouth. Um, but yeah, this powder is amazing. I did purchase the Universal Setting Powder. Um, I haven't really gotten the hang of using it yet. It is quite different. As you can see, this has sort of like a yellowy um, tinge to it, but it doesn't come out yellow once it's on the skin and once you brush it off. This is really white and it is finely milled. So I would be interested to know if there is any flashback on when you take photos or anything. Um, but yeah, I will give this a try and let you all know how it goes. Along with loose translucent powder, I always set my foundation, the other areas of my face, with a pressed powder. And the one that I'm loving at the moment is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. And this one says it has SPF 24 in it. So it's great to use during the day. Um, oh. It is a really great color. This one is Fiji and I feel like it just looks so flawless on the skin. Um, it really, really helps to set the foundation and it doesn't move all day as well. So that is my favorite one for this month. I was using Beach by NARS previously. I love their pressed powders. You can't go wrong with NARS. So. Yeah, this is my favorite one for the month of May. The next product that I'm going to mention is this compact from MAC. And it has a contour shade and a sort of luminous pinky beige shade. Um, I use the pinky beige shade underneath my eyes and to brush off that translucent powder. It gives a very luminous glow to the skin. So it's not just gonna look really matte, it's gonna also look super glowy. Um, so I love that powder as well. Uh, I don't know what it's called though. Oh, okay. So it is called the Shaping Powder in Accentuate, and I believe you can buy it separately. The contour shade is called Sculpt, and I do have that separately, um, but I do just love how it's in a compact together. Um, also, if I can do it and not break the product, yep, here we go. Um, it has a cream base as well, and the cream color base is called Hush. So the contour is called Sculpt, Hush, and Accentuate. Um, but yeah, this contour shade is beautiful, so beautiful. Um, it has a grey tone to it. It's not warm at all. So it is going to really just sculpt the face and carve it out and really get that contour and create shadows that you want. You don't want to have warm bronzers doing that. Um, but yeah, I used these two today. I didn't use the cream base. 
um, but I have used it and it is beautiful as well it really gives a gorgeous luminous glow it's not you know shiny or glittery or anything it gives a nice balmy sort of look so yeah I love this compact and I love it even more that these two shades I love because it's so bad when you love one shade and you don't use the other but yeah I use both of these equally love them the next thing that I'm loving at the moment is this cheek palette from benefit oh my gosh I think it is limited edition so I'm sorry if you can't purchase it but it is just so cute like the packaging is cute and the colors in here you can buy separately so you know don't worry you can buy them I do have on my cheeks today Coralista and it's just a gorgeous coral soft pink shade as you can see on my cheeks it's not too heavy I don't really like blush that much but this gives such a gorgeous glow to the cheeks and a bit of definition uh, that is called Dallas Hula Dandelion and Rocka Rockature. I just love when brands come out with palettes like these because they're so helpful and so easy to travel around with. Um, instead of taking, you know, five products with you, you can take this one palette and you're good to go. Like, I just love it. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. I really apologize if you can't purchase it, but. Um, you can purchase the colors separately. Oh, I forgot to mention this. So, this is the Glow Kit from Anastasia, the sun dipped version. I love this. These are the colors of my life. I love this shade, the summer shade. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now the bronze shade as well I've used it to bronze up around the forehead a little bit um, tourmaline I haven't used it yet and moonstone I haven't used yet but it looks like I would love it as well I love this palette so 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 much I could not get any of the glow kits when I was in the US they were like sold out everywhere so when I got home and I got this I was just like thank the Lord and it's a new one too. So the bronzer that I used to bronze up my face seriously goes undetected. It is the Healthy Glow Powder from Givenchy and it's in the color 03 Amber Sison. I can't say that word, but it is just so beautiful on the skin. You can't hardly see it. It is just, it just melts into the skin. Um, and yeah, it doesn't look powdery at all it looks it just it literally it gives your face a healthy glow and yeah I just use it all over the face around the forehead on the cheeks I um, you know sort of go in a three motion so forehead cheeks and then underneath the jawline and that's what you're meant to do when you bronze up the face um, but yeah, love this. I've been loving it for a while. I first of all didn't want to ruin the design on the powder, but it's just so beautiful. Um, you got to use makeup, like you know, you can't just let it sit there. You got to use it. So yes, I love this bronzer. One of my favorites. So for my brows at the moment, I am loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Refiner. This is in medium brown. And what I love about this pencil is it has a spoolie on one end and the brow definer is angled so it's really easy to draw on your brows um, and get them super defined um, and it's really 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 pigmented as well so I love this pencil I also love to finish off my brows with the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is medium. If you watch my Snapchats, you will know how much I love this brow product. I lost it and I had to go buy another one. Like, I just love this thing. The next thing I use to finish off my makeup today is the Brilliant Strobe Light Ambient Powder from Hourglass. This powder 
is just so beautiful on the skin I mean that's how I describe everything but it just I just sweep it all over my face and it gives a gorgeous glow it doesn't look oily at all it just looks so luminous um, but yeah I love it so much and I love it to finish off the face because you know sometimes you can have that powdery cakey sort of look on your face um, but this just helps it to look more luminous radiant and more like skin more like skin so yeah I love it love this so much so the lip product that I love at the moment and that I discovered in May is the Lip Insurance Original Demi Matte Anti-Feathering Lip Primer from Too Faced. Oh my goodness, this just helps and makes such a difference um, when using it under liquid lipsticks. It helps it to stay, it helps it to smooth out the lips so they're not, you know, crack, fill in the lines of your lips as well so it goes on smooth. It's just so fabulous. And I use that also with today I used Noble from Kat Von D. Um, but the formulas of these lipsticks, these liquid lipsticks, I love so much. So I use Noble today. This is Bow and Arrow. And this is Lolita, the original one, I believe. It's not the second one. But yeah, I love these. Look at these nudes. They just look so good together. Um, but yeah, love this formula lasts so long it's not that drying on the lips and yeah it goes on really really smooth so i love these so much guys i hope you enjoyed this video um let me know if you want to see favorites every month in the comments below i'm definitely going to try to do one every month because now i have a lot of products that i'm trying out and I will be able to change my favorites before I was just sticking to the same products and you know sticking to products that I love but now I'm starting to you know be adventurous and try out new products so I'll definitely try to do one every month um, but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you next time